every Astroom 3D tour kit comes with the following. An Astroom tripod that's set to the correct height for taking 3D tours, a rotator, a custom case for your phone, plus a fisheye attachment, and a clip-on version of the same fisheye lens. Now let's start by charging the rotator. Register and log in with your company email. Tap on the upper left corner to go to settings, then tap on plan, then enter your enterprise code. Ask your company for your enterprise code. If you have a gift voucher for a free 3D tour, you can also enter it here by going to setting, then plan. You can find the gift voucher inside your 3D tour kit box. When entering the code, make sure you don't put any of the dashes between the characters. If for some reason you don't see a place to input your codes in the app, you can go to our website and log into the web editor. Click on profile at the top right corner, then click on plan. You'll be able to redeem your gift voucher code here. Next, enable Bluetooth on your phone. Open Astroom app and tap on camera. Once you switch on the rotator, it should automatically pair with your phone. Don't try pairing manually by going into your phone's Bluetooth device list. The rotator will not show up in the device list. Clean your phone in fisheye lenses for sharp, crisp output. If the top part comes off, you can simply screw it back on. Make sure the top of the rotator is screwed on tightly onto the base. Position your camera correctly on the rotator. If you have an iPhone or a phone with the camera on the right side, align the camera to the right jaw clip so that the camera is close to the center of the rotator while keeping it balanced. Make sure the phone is straight and that it's not tilted. You can also use a gyroscope and align the ball to the center of the crossfire. You can now start taking photos of the property. For best results, shoot during the day between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Keep windows open for outdoor views and natural light. Open every door at the property so the virtual tour will remain unobstructed. Starting at the entrance, you only need one shot per room. Remember to keep a direct line of sight meaning that you can see at least one other spot that you have already shot, and don't forget to shoot the hallways. The order of the shots doesn't matter as long as they're all viewable from another shooting location. Just make sure you have at least one panel for each part of the home. Ideally, try to shoot in the center of the room, but don't place your tripod over furniture. Keep your tripod steady on the floor. Hallways can also be done with one shot, but you may have to take two or more if the hallway is very long. Shoot doorways along hallways and hallway corners for line of sight. If a hallway has corners, remember to shoot each corner to make connections. Don't shoot on stairways, your tripod won't be level. Instead, shoot stairway landings. Ask room will connect the floors for you. When all rooms and spaces are scanned, double check and make sure that all panoramas are great and you are ready to create the first tour. Go to My Tour and tap on the plus icon. Give your tour a name. You can add an address and description later. Tap on Done to save it. You'll see a panorama with a plus icon in the middle. Tap on the icon to upload panoramas from your Astroom album. Tap on Upload to Tour and the panoramas will start uploading. Tap on the tour you want to have a dollhouse created and tap on the services icon at the top right. You can see the premium package is selected by default. Tap on next to review the order and make sure you input the height 
and confirm that all photos in this tour are final. Tap on OK, then tap on Submit Order to proceed to checkout. <laughs>